In order to put the texture to any object in Blender, you need to have something that is called UV coordinates, basically a coordinates that will tell Blender how to wrap the texture around the object. And you can see these two examples right here, two identical cubes with the same checkerboard textures, but with that difference that this one is really nice to wrap around the cube, but this is wrapped completely off. So this is crazy looking texture is the form and we don't want these kinds of results. And this happened because we didn't unwrap it properly. So what does it mean to unwrap the object in a 3D world space? Well, it's exactly the same like you're doing it in real life. So here I have this really nice card box and this is a 3D object. And in order to unwrap it, I need to use something like scissors or knife in order to cut some edges to be able to open this, to unwrap it and to make 2D version of a 3D model. So this is now a 2D representation of a box and now it's really easy to put any kind of texture right there, like we have this one. And when you properly put the texture on the unwrapped object, then you can easily wrap it back and you have really nice properly wrapped car box and this is what we want to achieve. This is really simple, I will show you here now in a 3D examples and uh, we will make this really simple and easy. We will understand the principles and you can then do the same with any other more complex objects. Let's start with the Blender new file right here and we will start with the default cube. So in order to see what we are doing, I want to go right here and add shader editor. So I want to apply some materials and I want here to add search image, image texture. Okay, let's zoom it a little bit and go with the color to base color. And now I want to set new and from generated type, I want to go with the UV grid. Press okay and in that way we are getting that checkerboard texture. We cannot see it right now because we need to go to material preview to see it or to render preview to see it. I will go to material preview. And you can see this is by default properly unwrapped because this is a Blender default object and uh, yeah, it's already unwrapped but on this one, we will make it completely mess and then show you how to properly unwrap it manually because if uh, you do anything with this, for example, go to edit and add some geometry here and uh, you want to move this, etc., and try to model, start modeling something, you will immediately see that this is not good. It's not properly distributed uh, squares here, the checkerboard texture, etc. So we again need to unwrap this model again. So not to not make it too complex, I will mess this up and uh, show you how to properly unwrap it. So in order to do that, we will go to UV editing workspace. And this is UV coordinates on the left side. And this is the representation of unwrapped cube 2D representation of a 3D model that we talked about at the beginning with the box. And uh, now let's first make a mess. I will press A to select all, press U to go to the UV mapping options and go project from U just to project totally wrong UV uh, unwrapping here. And in order to see what we did, I will go here to material preview. Also, I want to enable my is here so you can see what I'm pressing. And this is how it looks, as you can see, it's big mess. So we want to learn how to properly unwrap this. Remember what I did with the car box, use scissors or, or knife and cut the edges to unwrap it. So we will do the same here. With that difference that cutting edges for unwrapping things in Blender is called mark seams. So we will mark some edges as a seams and then we will unwrap it. So cutting mark seams. So that's the, the equivalent from a real life. Okay, so in order to do that, I will go with the edge here, select this, this, this and this. So I want to cut the top of the box. I want to cut the bottom of the box by holding shift. And if I cut these two, I can make two top and bottom flat and then I can unwrap the rest of the box completely. So I will go step by step to show you what, what we will get here. And now in order to unwrap it, just press U, uh, sorry. And now in order to mark these seams, to cut them with the scissors or knife, press right click or W and go with mark seam. Perfect. And you can see now these edges became red, like we already cut them. Now we want to select all, press A to select all, U to go to UV mapping, or you can go right here to UV, it doesn't matter, and just press unwrap. Perfect. And you can see this is a big mess here, but the top and the bottom are really 
well done. And here we can see the top and the bottom, cut it out and this is it. But this thing right here, this is like we cut this and I will hide it and for example we already cut it, put it aside and we have this like box with a hole and basically we flatten it down and made a 2D representation of that. We just flattened it out. And this is why the UVs are bad. We don't want that. So in order to unwrap this now, what we need to do, you're totally right, we need to take scissors and cut one of these edges in order to unwrap it. So let's do it. I will go and undo a few times just to get back these caps here. And I will go to the edge, select this one for example, press W and go to mark seam. And this is it. Now press A to select all U and go with unwrap. This is it. And now, as you can see, we have really nice, perfect unwrapping here. And this is really good. In order to have that, this type of unwrapping, like a cross type of unwrapping, we just need to cut it differently. So I will go select all, press W and clear seam. So we don't have anything. And now I will go with this edge, this edge, and this edge. And also, I will go with this, this, and this. Imagine that you're doing this in real life, and what will you get? If you cut this edge, that means that you can open this top of the model, like a door, and you can open this as a door. And also, we need to cut one more edge, so like, for example, this one, and W, mark seam, select all, U and unwrap and this is it. We have this cross representation of this. And it's again, really nicely unwrapped. As you can see the car, the checkerboard texture is well uh, wrapped around the cube. And also if you go here and press S to scale it, you can make the texture bigger or smaller. If you make the object smaller, the texture will be bigger, etc. And also you can uh, press R to rotate this or press G to move somewhere if you want, etc. But this is the basic principle of how you can do this. Some object you can do U and smart UV project and press OK and it will automatically make this. But as you can see, this is not seamless. And sometimes this is cool if you want to apply some kind of metallic texture or paint texture, etc. This doesn't have any effect. But if you want some kind of texture that needs to be seamlessly uh, wrapped around the object, well, you don't like this, then you can manually go here, press S, scale it like that, and uh, now it's pretty much okay, but we don't want that, we want to learn how to do it manually, and maybe you can go with a cube projection, and this is cool, but it's too small, and that means that you need to, again, play with this, and so on and so forth. So now that you know how to do it with the cube, Let's do with the cylinder because cylinder is another cool object to unwrap. I will move this right here and make, go back to the object, go to the mesh, go to the cylinder and this is it. Okay, in order to see the texture, I will apply the same material like I had here. And you can see the cylinder is already unwrapped by default because it's Blender default object, but mm, this is like more like a rectangular, not a square, and I want to make it better. So in order to see what Blender did, let's go to UV editing, and you can see what Blender did. This is, these are called islands. If I press L, I will select everything that is linked together. So we have, we have basically one island, two, three islands. And uh, this is well done, I really like it, but Let's do it manually. So let's mess it up. Again, project from you just to see what we have right here. And you can see the texture is completely messed. So you know what we need to do. We need to go to the edge, select this one by holding Alt or Option key to select the edge loop. Also select this one by holding shield, Shift, Alt and uh, click to select it. And now if I go and say Mark Seam, and select all and say unwrap, we will have something that looks like this. The top and the bottom are great, but this part right here, so this, this part right here is again bad. So it's the same like we have this thing, cylinder, and we just made this, made it to be a model like that. In order to unwrap the cylinder, you know what to do, take scissors and just 
cut this like that and now you just need to unwrap it and have a flat representation of that so we need to do the same choose any of these edges i always advise you to smartly choose what which edge you want to cut you always want to cut the edge that is not visible in the scene so for example we are seeing the cylinder from from this side so we want to go to the back right there and choose the back edge select it mark it as a seam and now select all go with the u unwrap and this is perfectly nice and you can see it's even better than original we have perfect squares here and remember the original uh, blender unwrapped has rectangles and we don't want that we have really really nice squares and this is how it looks now we'll show you another example that uh, we will use a cone cone is tricky and it's not so easy to unwrap it's really easy but uh, it's not so easy let, let me show you why so let's go back to the layout i want to move this one go back to not edit but object okay and i want to move this one here and i want to use cone okay cone looks like this if we go with the material this mm, not bad but not good this part is not that good so we will go to uv editing and let's see what we have we have basically two islands the one that re represents the lower circle right here and this one that represents this part so basically this is a circular type of uh, 2d representation of an object and we don't want that basically what we want first to do to unwrap it manually i want to go to the edges here alt and select the lower edge and go with right click or w and mark seam and if i select all right now and unwrap it i will have this similar situation because this part is properly unwrapped but this i will do like with the cylinder i will cut one of these edges so i will cut this cone right here in order to cut it i need to mark as a seam and now select all u and unwrap and this is better and you can see already the texture looks better but it's still like Mm, you can see the seam obviously and it's still like this side is going in one direction this one is going like that and that's normal because if you take a piece of paper and you want to make a cone basically the cone is like a cylinder with one side here completely made like a zero space you can see that this is going all around in a strange strange direction see and this is why we what we have here but in order to make it even better what i like to advise is to make the cone out of a cylinder so to avoid this so how to do it well let me show you really quickly if we go right here i want to move this one right there and i want to create let's create again cone but transform it into a cylinder by going to add uh, to vertex right here and select this top vertex this one shift control b to bevel it and to have some kind of a surface so let's make it a little bit more obvious that this is like a cylinder with um, a smaller top and now if we go to if we add material here and if we go to uv editing we will unwrap this exactly like we did with the cylinder so basically what we did right here i want to select this edge i want to select this edge and one of these edges and basically right click mark seam select all u and unwrap perfect still we have this and this is because right here let's select all right here we have this island we have this island right right there okay this is top and the bottom of uh, the cone or cylinder and we have this island right here and you can see that this is almost a half of a circle and in order to have this properly wrap around we need to have this as a flat like it's a rectangle and how to make this well this is why i said it's a little bit more complicated for beginners but i want to show you this because it's practically very easy we need to make one of these uh, let's go to faces one of these faces to turn it into rectangle and then to basically just apply one command so how to do it well easily i want to select this one right this vertex right here okay 
ones. Oh yeah, I need to go to vertex, obviously. This vertex right here and this vertex right here. And I want to press S to scale it, X and zero. So I will, I will make them align by X axis, perfect. And I want to do the same with this one. So this and this one right here, S, X, zero. And this is almost done. What we need to do is to select these two, S, Y and zero. So to make them equal on Y axis and also these two, this, this, S, Y and zero. And this is it, perfect. Now we have this, we can use G to move it if we want, uh, but we need to select all of these. So we can move it if we want, but there is no need for that. I just want to show you now if we go to the face and select select uh, this face back. And now when this face is selected, you need to do just one thing. Remember how this looks right now, you can see it. Something is going good, some things are going bad. Let's go here to the seam, this is completely off right here. So select this one, right click, follow active quads or press U and follow active quads. So whatever you want, I'll right click, follow active, active quads and this is how it looks. We can press L to select linked and just move this somewhere here for example and let's go here and you can see this looks much better now and this where the seam was it looks like this it's a little bit off because of the of how this ends with the same um, same basically texture uh, black and black right here in order to fix that we can just scale it s and uh, X and scale it on an X axis like this a little bit and see what we are doing here. That's pretty good. We can move it somewhere here and you can see this is much better. This is really nicely unwrapped object and you can leave it like that. And also in order to have proper cone, I would always make this top really, really small, but uh, this is a better way to have a cone and to properly unwrap it than to use this type of cone if you want to have proper texture that goes really nicely around the model. What about if you have a little bit more complex object like this one? Well, the principle is exactly the same. You need to think about this as a group of uh, simple primitives like cube, cylinder, etc., and unwrap it like that. So I already add that texture, the checkerboard, and you can see this is very bad. And if you put any other texture, so for example, I have a wood here, this wood will be stretched right there. This part will be okay, perfect, but uh, this is so bad, so we need to unwrap it. So I will go back to this material just for fun and let's go to UV editing and uh, let's uh, bring only this one and let's, let's start uh, making some changes. First of all, you can see we have a lot of uh, edges here and if, we, if you have more than one edge you don't want to select all to cut all of them you just want one so like with like with this remember so just think of this like it's in real life where you want to cut just one cut okay perfect so in order to this to work I will go here with the options and select this live unwrap so this is helpful uh, just to skip this press you and run, unwrap every single time. When you do something, it will live unwrap things. Okay, and I will go right here and select this edge, basically the whole circle, except one side, like at the beginning. Let's see if we will do like that. And uh, one side here, okay, all the way to the bottom, like that, and also here, few sides like this, 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 like I'm, I'm thinking of this like it's uh, just a cube, just a regular cube. Okay, now we will mark this as a seam. Perfect. And you can see we have really nice unwrapped here. Okay, now let's go to this part and I want to cut completely this part like I have scissors and I want to cut this and treat it as a separate object. So I will select the whole circle here and let's see here where we need to uh, cut it. So this has some modifiers applied and I will disable it for a moment because I want to cut it right there and right there. And if I mark seam here, you will see we have a big mess. 
we have this okay but this not well that's because we need to add another seam let's see we add it here so i will add it to this side right there cut the side like a box and that's perfect okay this is not perfect but we will fix it also i want to think about this as one object so this and this mark seam okay this is already fixed and again i want to add this edge right there all the way to the top oh come on this one and this one like this is a separate box perfect and mark seam okay and then i want to go to the, this one at the top see this already looks beautiful let's go here i will select this edge and this 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 and this this not this but this and this and also here at the top this 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 and this and if i press now mark seam perfectly unwrapped and also this the whole circle right there i want to cut it and say mark seam and also the top i will make it seam here and also this this doesn't need to be whole i think let's see yeah this can be this can be like that but let's mark seam this one too and uh, we need to fix this uh, let's see what is wrong with uh, this thing right there so let's undo this mark seam so clear seam and put it right here and go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom maybe i missed that yeah so now everything looks really nice if i go back with the modifier this looks really really cool really nicely unwrapped let's go here and if we apply another texture let's go to the layout if we apply now wooden texture and see how beautiful it looks really seamless and uh, nicely unwrapped model and this is it and this is how you should prepare your objects to properly wrap the texture around it it doesn't matter if it's a wood or metal or rust or paper or carbo texture whichever texture you want to use it now you know the methods and yeah i know it was a little bit longer episode but it's meant for complete beginners the people who don't know anything about this hopefully now it's clear because this is really simple and easy and if you have even more complex objects just you need to divide it into more simple base shaped object and then apply these principles and let me know down there in the comments what you think about this and if you like this content press the like button consider subscribing and see you in my next one episode bye bye